Paulus. Why, what? Dr. Huxley is thinking. Alice. I think this one must belong in the tail. Nonsense. You tried it in the tail yesterday and it didn't fit. Oh, yes, that's right. I did, didn't I? Oh, David, it's a telegram for you from Utah. It's from the expedition. Oh, oh, the expedition? Open it. I'll be right down. Gee, where's it? Oh, yeah. David, they found it. They found it, David. Don't leave the cost of chemical. It's on its way here. Oh, we'll be here tomorrow. Oh. oh, just think of it, Professor. The last bone we needed to complete the brontosaurus, the very last bone, the intercostal clavicle, is arriving tomorrow. After four years' hard work. Congratulations, my boy. Oh, isn't it great? I can hardly believe it. Oh, Alice. Stop it. Mm. Really, David, there's a time and place for everything. What for Professor Latouche then? After all, my dear, you're getting married tomorrow. Yes, I know we are. Oh, yeah, really? that's right. We're getting married tomorrow. Hey, isn't that odd? Two such important things happening on the same day. I think the occasion calls for a celebration. Oh, don't you worry, Professor. We're going to celebrate. We're going to go away directly. We've been married. Going away? Why, what are you thinking of, David? After receiving this telegram? Oh, well, we planned Why, it. as soon as we're married, we're coming directly back here and you're going on with your work. Oh, well, Alice, gee, Now, I... once and for all, David, nothing must interfere with your work. Oh. oh. Our marriage must entail no domestic oh. entanglements of any kind. Y you mean, you mean... I mean of any kind, David. Oh, well, Alice, I was sort of hoping... Well, you mean... You mean children and all that sort exactly. of thing? Exactly. Oh, oh. This will be our child. Yeah, huh? Yes, oh, David. Nice. I see our marriage purely as a dedication to your work. Well, gee whiz, Alice, everybody has to have a honeymoon and... and but we haven't and... time. Oh, oh. Speaking of time, you have an appointment this afternoon. Uh, have I? Uh, what for? To play golf with Mr. Peabody. Peabody? What Peabody? The Alexander Peabody who represents Mrs. Carlton Random. Now, let me think. Who oh, may I... possibly donate a million dollars to the museum for the completion of all this group. Oh, sure, that Mr. Peabody. Yes, a million dollars. Hey, say, that's pretty wide of Mr. Peabody, isn't well, it? Well, you haven't got it yet. No, and let right. me remind you that a lot depends on the impression you make on him. Oh, sure. Oh, well, don't worry. After I've received this, say, hey, I feel good for anything. I'll wow him. I'll knock him for a loop. David, no slang. Remember who and what you are. Oh, yes, that's right. Now, do go along. You mustn't keep him waiting. Well, well, uh, goodbye, now, Alice. Don't I mean, Professor. <laughs> yes. Remember, let Mr. Peabody win. Uh, uh, yes, Alice, yes, I won't. Oh, dear, excuse me. I... I can't tell you, Mr. Peabody, how much this endowment would mean to the museum and to me personally. If you could just give me some assurance that... Uh, if you could just give me some assurance that you'd uh, consider us first before you donate that million to anyone else, I'd appreciate it. Dr. Huxley, you seem to be under some misapprehension. I haven't got a million dollars. I merely represent the possible donor, Mrs. Carlton Random, whose legal advisor I happen to be. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. Oh, oh well, uh, uh, Mr. Peabody, then I wonder... If you could use your influence with Mrs. Random, that would be nice, huh? Dr. Huxley, when I play golf, I only talk golf. And then only between shots. Oh, yes, of course. I'm sorry. Couldn't we continue this discussion over a whiskey and soda when we've finished our game? Why, yes, we could. Yeah. Meantime, I believe you hooked your ball. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes, that's right, I did. Uh, well, I'll be with you in a minute, Mr. Yes, Peabody. Yes. All right. Oh, look, look, you can't... Hey, that's my ball. Just a minute. Uh, well, he's hoping. I, I say, just a minute. I beg your pardon. I... Oh, dear. You shouldn't do that, you know. But that... What shouldn't I do? Talk while someone's shooting. Yes, well, anyway, I forgive you, you because I got a good shot. But you don't understand. See, there it is, right next to the pin. But that has nothing to do with it. Oh, you, are you playing through? No, I've just driven off the first tee. And I, I hook... see you're a stranger here. You should be over there. This is the 18th fairway, and I'm right on the green. Yeah, look. If I think this part, I'm going to beat my record. I'll be with you in a minute. What kind of ball are you playing? PGA. Well, I'm playing a crow flight. Mm, I like a PGA better. No, I'm just trying to prove to you that you're playing my ball. You see, a PGA has two black dots and a crow flight has a circle. Mm, I think. I'm not superstitious about things like that. Oh, well, that doesn't Stop have anything to do minute, with will it. Stop talking for a minute, will you, please? Will you it's... take out the pin? Well... Oh, my. Oh, my. This is so silly. I never saw... <laughs> huh. Well there, you see, it's a circle. Well, of course it is. Do you think it would roll if it was square? No, I have reference to a mark on the ball. I that know, proves I it's a crow flight. That's well, my what ball. what does it matter? It's only a game anyway. Well, my dear young lady, you don't seem to realize you placed me in a very embarrassing position. Oh, really? I'm sorry. The most important corporation lawyer in New York is waiting for me over on the first fairway. Then it's silly of you to be fooling around on the 18th green. Yeah. 
You, you, you don't mind if I take this with me? No, not at all. Tell the caddy master to put it in my bag when you're finished. Huxley! Huxley! Come on! Oh, yes! Yeah. I'll be with you in a minute, Mr. Peabody! Hey, mister, I think that's your car. Hey, hey! Oh. I'll be with you in a minute, Mr. Peabody! Hey! What do you think you're doing? I'm trying to unpark my car. Oh, hello. This you... is my car. Oh, good. Then would you mind moving it out of the way? No, no. This is my car. Yes, I understand that. If you move it back about four feet, well, I'll be able to get out. Well, I'm afraid you made a mistake. Maybe this is your... What did you say? I said, if you move it back about four feet, I'll be able to get out. I'm in a terrible hurry and I can't budge. Oh, you, you, you want me to move your would car? Would you mind terribly? Well, yes, I will, but... but oh, uh... that'd be awfully kind well, of Well, take you. it very easy with that car. Yes, but... I'll go slowly. What are you doing? Well, I, I have to get into position. Well, please be careful. I will. Now, you say when. Yes, all right. Am I clear? Yes, you're clear now. Clear? Yes. Oh, good. Oh! Now, look what you've done. Oh, that's all right. I'm insured. Well, I don't care whether you're insured or not. Look, let me drive this car. Oh, it's all right. It's an old wreck anyway. But, it doesn't matter. Well, you don't understand. This is my car. You mean this is your car? Of course. Your golf ball? Your car? Is there anything in the world that doesn't belong to you? Yes, thank heaven, you. Now, don't lose your temper. But, uh, my dear young lady, I'm not losing my temper. I'm merely trying to play some golf. Well, right? you choose the funniest places. This is a parking lot. Will you get out of my car? Will you get off my running board? This is my running board! All right, honey, stay Oh, there. oh, 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 Mr. I'll be with you in a minute, Mr. Peabody! Oh, good evening, sir. Excuse me, I'm looking for Mr. Peabody. Alexander Peabody, I believe he's dining here. Mr. Peabody has not arrived yet. Oh, yes, sir. Well, well, I'll just wait. Yes, sir. Good evening, Lewis. Good evening, sir. Right in this way. Thank you. May I check your hat, sir? Excuse me? Check your hat. Oh, no, I better... Have... Well, maybe you... I... I dropped my hat. Well, I'd better hang on to it. Now watch very carefully. I'm watching. I take a knowledge. See? And I throw it in that glass. But there it is. Now I throw it in that glass. Oh, uh, wait a minute. No, but I'll say... Oh, no, go on, go on, go on. Watch. Now, I know what happens. That's what I'm you take three, don't you? Mm -hmm. Only you treat it. Well, you can see me take three. Now, you throw it in the glass. Huh? You take another. You throw it in the Good. glass. Good. And then you do this. Oh, I... Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, hello. You're sitting on your hat. Hmm. I know it. That's silly. Get it. I'm awfully sorry. I couldn't be Please. more apologetic, really. Well, I might have known you were here. I had a feeling just as I hit the floor. That was your hat. Look at it. Look. <laughs> yes, it's too bad, isn't it? Well, Joe here was showing me a trick and the olive got away. First you drop an olive and then I sit on my hat. It all fits perfectly. Oh, yes, but you can't do that trick without dropping some of the olives. It takes practice. What, to sit on my hat? No, to drop an olive. Yeah. Now, if you're going to be angry with me, what can I do? Go away. Oh, no, I was here first. Then I'll go away. What you... Won't you just take the olive dish? No, no, it's all right. I'll sit here. You don't mind, do you? Not at all. This is rather difficult. I guess. <laughs> oh, goodness. You know, your face is familiar. Haven't we met somewhere? Not to my knowledge. Well, I think you're wrong. My name's Susan Vance. I'm Dr. Fritz Lynn. 
Oh, well, that's all right. You can sit down. I don't mind Thank at all. You. you may have heard me lecture. Oh, what do you lecture about? I usually talk about uh, nervous disorders. I am a psychiatrist. Oh, crazy people. We dislike the use of that word. All people who behave strangely are not insane. Is that so? Oh, well, um, would you mind if I asked your professional opinion about something? Not at all. Well, now, what would you say about a man who follows a girl around? Follows her around? And then when she talks to him, he fights with her. Fights with her? Mm -hmm. Is the young man your fiancé? Oh, no, I don't know him. I never even saw him before today. Oh. No, he just follows me around and fights with me. Well, uh, the love impulse in men very frequently reveals itself in terms of conflict. The love impulse? Mm -hmm. Without my knowing anything about it, my rough guess would be that he has a fixation on you. A fixation... No, 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 no wait a minute. I can't remember any more than that. A fixation. That's right. The love impulse in man frequently reveals itself in terms of... Conflict. Conflict. That's right. Oh, I'm eternally grateful to you. You're, You're absolutely welcome. wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. You know why you're following oh. me? You're a fixation. Oh, I'm not following you. I've been sitting here. I haven't moved from this spot. Now, please, you're following me. Oh, don't be absurd. Who's always behind whom? Yeah. Now, look, my dear young lady, I haven't been behind anything but what they call the uh, uh, um, eight ball. I haven't been all day. You're angry, aren't you? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. The love impulse in man frequently reveals itself in terms of conflict. Excuse me, the what impulse? Love impulse. Yeah. Now, you see, the trouble with oh, you is that you have a no, kind no, of... No, no, look, look. All I'm trying to do is find the gentleman whom, thanks to you, I abandoned on the golf course today. That's all well, I'm I... trying to do here. Now, please, go... See, this isn't... Well, what do you suppose I... Here, hold this a minute, will you, please? I'll be right back. Yes. Missed. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was so long. That's quite all right, my dear. I had a very entertaining conversation with a young lady who does tricks with olives when she gets it right. <laughs> Fritz, where's my purse? Your purse, dear? I thought you had it with you. No, I left it right here on the table. Oh, my dear, my diamond pin was in it. Oh, but better look. Diamond pin! Diamond pin, we're going to find it. All right, don't worry about it. Excuse me, I. Oh, sorry. Well, there it is. Yeah. Huh? Thank you very much. Oh, thank That's you, very sir. Kind of you. Very kind. Well, no. thank you. This is my purse, my diamond pin. It is. All right, I'll you please give that. Oh, no, 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 no. Give me that. No, Will you please no, hand please it over? Will you please it, keep you? out of the well, dialogue? Let me hand this. It's very clumsily done. The I did the trick. I did it once. Give it to me. It is madness for you to stand there and say it is not my wife. I'm afraid you've made a slight blunder. You see, this belongs. Oh, there is the young lady. Now look, isn't this your purse? No, this is my purse. What day you are just hand it over to me? Now just a minute. Didn't you give me this purse to hold? Yes, that's right. I did. I did. I gave him the purse to hold. You see, there's been a mistake. I lost my purse, and I must have picked up your wife's purse by mistake. Okay. And I wanted him to stay here, so I gave him your wife's purse to hold while I went to find my purse, and I was coming right back. Uh, now, that's all perfectly uh, clear, isn't it? Yeah, no, it isn't. Uh, you see, uh, if you're no, going no, to give no, me an no, explanation... No, 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 and my dear sir, it never will be clear as long as she's explaining it. Now, please let me... No, just a minute. Oh, no, 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 now, please listen to me. You certainly can't think that I did that intentionally. Well, if I could think, I'd have run when I saw you. No, but if you'd only wait while I explain, I just gave you my purse. Oh, oh you've torn your coat. Oh. Now, now, I didn't do it on purpose. That's not right. That's not right. It's not my fault. I didn't mean to do it. I just did it, but I didn't mean to do it. I just caught hold of your coat. Look, will you do something for me? A needle? No, it's simpler than that. Let's play a game. Oh, what? Yeah, well, watch. I'll put my hand over my eyes, and then you go away. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. Then I'll count to ten, and when I take my hand down, you will be gone. One. Five, well, I six, like that. Seven, I was only trying nine, to be nice. Thank you. Uh, oh, oh, just a minute. Oh, just no, the you moment. can't talk to me that way, and then crawl out of it. When I'm mad, I am mad. <laughs> Something horrible has happened. Oh, well, don't tell me about oh. it. Just get out of it as best you can. Oh, no. And please stop following me around, what? fixation or no now, fixation. Please, I've had not enough. Please stop talking so that I will can Will you tell please you. stop crowding me? No, 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 no. Look, I'm just trying to tell you that you've told... Oh, no, I didn't. Why, if you hadn't been in such a hurry that waited for my explanation... My coat. Your coat would still be perfectly all right. Oh. What is the matter with you? Well, you see, I... Oh. Do you realize that you're no, making no, no, a perfect no, no, fool no, of just, yourself? Just now, look here. No, you no, can't no, tell no, me that I told no, your no, coat. There's such a thing as being... Will you please stop doing that with your hat? Well, just stand there, will you? What in the world no. is going on Oh, here? no, please don't move. Oh, I've had about enough of this. Oh, look, listen to me. 
Let's get out of here. Just start walking. Believe <laughs> so me. So now I'm... you want to walk. Well, I'm quite sure that I don't want to walk with you. And I hope you realize that you've made a perfect spectacle of yourself. Have you finished? I... Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, oh, oh. Well. Don't just stand there. Do something. Do oh. something. Oh, my goodness. Well, get behind me. Oh, I am behind. Well, get closer. I can't get any closer. Oh. Now, now, you ready? Yes, okay, yes. Tom. Left foot first. All right. Keep going straight out the door. Yes, but I have to meet somebody here. Oh, there he is. Don't you dare leave me. I'll be with you in a minute, Mr. I'll be with you in a minute, sir. I'll see you in a minute, sir. I'll see you in a minute. So you see, Miss Vance, it's very important that I meet this man in order to explain to him what happened. Although, even if I saw him, I wouldn't know what to say, I don't... Well, it's perfectly simple. Just tell him that you met someone that you knew and were detained. <laughs> yeah, I can picture myself explaining our exit from the Ritz Plaza Hotel to Mr. Peabody. But it's not Boopy that you're trying to see. Yes, that's a... No, no, his name's Peabody. Alexander, Alexander Peabody, Peabody, but that's Boopy, and I know him well. I was going to have supper with him tonight. He'll do anything I ask him to. I can wrap him around my little finger. Here. Oh, now you put I... on your coat and we'll go over to the Ritz and catch him before he's finished. Oh, I better go and there And if we alone, miss him there, no, you can't go alone. If we miss caught. him there, we'll go out to Riverdale. You want to go? Yes, there you are. Well, I couldn't go to oh. Riverdale. I couldn't spend that much time. Riverdale's only half an hour away. I have my car right yes, outside. Yes, but I'll I have back. to go to Carnegie Hall, Hall to meet Miss Swallow. Miss Swallow? Yes, I'm engaged to Miss Swallow. Engaged to be married? That's right. Oh, that's nice. Then she won't mind waiting, will she? Oh, well, I wouldn't like to... I mean, if I were engaged to you, I wouldn't mind waiting at all. I'd yeah. wait forever. Yes, but it wouldn't be right to leave her. Well, I finally got you here, didn't I? Oh, yes. <laughs> Susan. Hmm? Huh? Susan, do they build all the houses in Riverdale alike? No, I don't think so. Why? Oh, well, because if they don't, we've passed this one six times in the last hour. Oh, but, David, it was such a lovely night for a drive. Yeah. Come on. Oh, dear. Well, there aren't any lights in the windows. Mr. Peabody must have gone to bed. Oh, no, he couldn't have gone to bed this soon. It's too early. Oh, I don't know. If they expected a visit from you, they could, with the covers over their heads. Now, David, if you don't stop nagging, I won't help you arrange matters with Boopy. Well, somehow I have a feeling it might be better if you didn't. Why? Well, I don't think we ought to do this, Susan. Gee, if we wake him up in the middle of the night, he'll be irritable. Well, I don't think it's going to work anyway, but I know where Boopy sleeps. Well, oh, oh, no. Oh. But, Susan, you can't climb in a man's bedroom window. I know. It's on the second floor. Boopy! Oh. Hey! Oh, Susan, Boopy! Please, please, it's too late now, Susan. You can't wake him up. Oh, can't I? What? So what are you doing? Pebbles. Pebbles? What for? Well, I've heard that if you throw pebbles up against the window, the people think it's hail, and then oh, they I, come and close the window. I, 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 oh! Oh, I know we ought to go now, but somehow I can't move. Guess they weren't big enough. Yeah. What else? What? Oh! Oh, I, I, Just a minute, Susan. I, oh! Jeepers, let's get out of here. Yeah. Now, don't worry, David. Everything's going to be all right. And tomorrow, when Boopy's calmed down, we'll go and see him together. Now, just a moment, Susan. Don't think that I don't appreciate all you've done, but... Oh, it was nothing, but, David, really. Just a moment. But there are limits to what a man can bear. And besides that, tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to get married. <laughs> what for? Well, because... Be <laughs> well, anyway, I'm going to get married, Susan, and don't interrupt. No. Now, my future wife has always regarded me as a man of some dignity. Privately, I'm convinced that I have some dignity. Now, it isn't that I don't like you, Susan, because, after all, in moments of quiet, I'm strangely drawn toward you, but, well, there haven't been any quiet moments. Our relationship has been a series of misadventures from beginning to end, so if you don't mind, I'll see Mr. Peabody alone and unarmed. Without me? Yes, without you, and definitely without you. Now, Susan, I'm going to say good night, and I hope that I never set eyes on you again. Good night. Yes, I did see Mr. Peabody, but I didn't see him. Well, that is, I didn't see him really. I... Yes, I, I spoke to him twice, but I didn't talk to him. 
But, David, I don't understand. Did you see him or didn't you? Well, no, I, I don't know. Well, uh, how do I know? Well, because, because, well, there's someone at the door. That's, you see, there's some things that are very hard to explain, Alice, and as soon as I, uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, oh, now, Alice, be, before we're married this afternoon, there's one thing we must have clear. I don't want any woman interfering with my affairs. It's fatal. That's the stuff, buddy. What do you want? Dr. Huxley? Yes. Sign here. Oh, just a minute, Alice. I have to sign something. Oh! Oh, Alice! Alice, it's arrived! The Intercostal Clavicle. Yes, isn't that wonderful? Oh, isn't that a marvelous wedding present? Thank you. You see, uh, I'm going to be married this afternoon. Don't let it throw you, buddy. Yes, Alice. Yes, isn't, it, isn't, it, isn't that great? Oh, Alice, I'm so excited. Yes, well, I'll tell you what you do. You go on down to the museum, and I'll meet you down there right away. Yes, dear. Goodbye. <sighs> Hello? Oh, it's you. Well, well, I can't hear you very well. Come closer to the telephone. I said good morning, David, and I said, do you want a leopard? A leopard? No, why should I want a leopard? Well, for that matter, why should I? But I've got one. Susan, where would you get a leopard? Well, I wouldn't get a leopard, David. My brother Mark got him. He's hunting in Brazil, and I guess he caught him. Oh, of course. It's a stuffed leopard. Of course. Now, why should my brother Mark be hunting stuffed leopards in Brazil when he used stuffed leopards, when he can find them right here in New York? Well, David, it's lucky I met you yesterday because you're the only zoologist I know. <laughs> Well, of course I know what a zoologist is. Get out of here, you. No, no, not you, David. Oh, baby, get back into that bathroom and stay there. You're making a nuisance of yourself. No, not you, David. No, I want you to come right over. Oh, David, don't be irrelevant. The point is, I have a leopard. The question is, what am I going to do with it? Well, Susan, I regret to say the leopard is your problem. You mean you refuse to help me? But, David, you can't do that. You can't leave me alone with the leopard. No, I'm going to come and get you in my... Susan, oh, uh, what happened? Uh, Is it the leopard? No, no, nothing happened to me, David. I just... I mean, the leopard! David, the leopard! Can you hear me, Susan? you to go around saying things about people. Susan, you've got to get out of this apartment. But, David, I can't. I have a lease. Oh, it isn't that. You've got to get this thing out of here. Don't worry about I'll him. He's it. really all right. What are you going to do? I'm going to call the zoo. Oh, no, you can't do that, David. Oh, that's the meanest thing I ever heard. He's a pet. He'd be miserable in a zoo. Listen, from my brother Mark from Brazil. Dear Susan, I'm sending you baby. That's baby. A uh, leopard I picked up. Guard him with your life. He's three years old, gentle as a kitten, and he likes dogs. What? I don't know whether Mark means that he eats dogs or is fond of them. Mark's so vague at times. Vague. He also likes music, particularly that song, I Can't Give You Anything But Love. Oh, baby. that's absurd. No, it isn't, David. Really, listen. This is probably the silliest thing that ever happened to me. I know it's silly, but it's true. He absolutely adores the tune. Well, what's the difference whether it adores the tune? It's funny that he should like such an old tune, isn't it? But I imagine that down in Brazil, they probably... Listen. Oh, stop it, Susan. Oh, stop David, it. let me show you. Oh, don't do that, Susan. Don't go near the door. No, but... Oh, I'll... dear, dear, dear. Oh. Now watch, David. You'll see he'll go right toward the music. Look at that. Isn't this remarkable? It loves it, David. Susan, if we put the Victrola in the bathroom, will it go back in? Oh, yes, but the music sounds better out here, and besides, he likes it. Oh, here it comes. Oh, now go away. Go. Oh, please, go away. Oh, my. Go away. I'm 
better get out of here. Oh, oh, Susan, I don't like leopards. Just think of him as being a house cat, David. Well, I, I don't like cats either. Stand still, David, don't be nervous. Oh, 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 make him stand still. Don't be silly, David. You can't make a leopard stand still. Susan, do something. Turn off that big troller. I don't think it's the music, David. I think it's you. David, I think you've found a real friend. Look, you're so affectionate, just like a little baby kitten. Oh. <laughs> I never saw anything take such a liking to anyone in my life. It would fall well, into anywhere. Wouldn't it? We shan't have any trouble taking it to Connecticut. Connecticut? My farm in Westlake, Connecticut. Westlake? Well, I'm not going to Westlake, Connecticut. But, David... Susan, I it? will not be involved in any more of your harebrained scheme. But it's not a harebrained scheme. Imagine Aunt Elizabeth coming to this apartment and running the... smack into a leopard. That would be an end of my million dollars. Aunt Elizabeth... If you had known it was going to give you a million dollars if she liked you and you knew she wouldn't like you if she found a leopard in your apartment, what would you do? I don't know. I... Oh, David, you have to help oh, me. Oh, 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 there are only two things in the world I have to do. Finish my brontosaurus and get married at three o'clock. Go on, quitter. Well, it's no good calling me names, Susan, because I won't argue with you anymore. I don't want anything to do with a leopard. Go on, baby, down the stairs. change your mind about coming to Connecticut. Susan, we settled that question once and for all. But wh what about my leopard? Hmm, that's your problem. It's not all my problem. Susan, will you please go away? All right, David. Since he likes you so much, I've decided to give him to you. I won't take him. <laughs> You've got him. Oh! oh. Susan, 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 don't go away. I've got the leopard. Susan, the... Oh, dear, look at it. No, David, all I was doing was driving along. That's all I was doing. You were standing on the sidewalk yelling and looking very silly. Now, you know very well you it. tricked me into this trip. Ah, ah, ah. Look, look. Eating your car. <laughs> oh, look at the road. Oh, oh, dear. I have a feeling something horrible is going to happen. Oh, no, David. Everything's going to be all right. No, I don't care anymore. <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh, what's oh. the matter? You get lonely? Susan, if you know any shortcuts, please take them. We're going to be there in no time now, David, really. Because all I want to do is deliver this leopard, take the first train back to town, and forget the last 24 hours ever happened. Oh, well, now what's wrong with the last 24 hours? I've had a wonderful time. Susan, Susan I don't know. You, you look at everything upside down. I've never known anyone quite like you. You just had a bad day, that's all. Oh, well, that's a masterpiece of understatement. Now, look. Well, well, I can't, I can't discuss anything with you with baby breathing down the back of my neck. Hey, hey, get down. Go on, go on, go on. I'll lie down. Susan, duck! was on the side of the road, Susan. It certainly was I... not. It was straight ahead of me, and that's why oh. I bumped into what it. What time is it? Well, David, we'll be there in no time. We just have to stop at Westlake to get some meat for baby. Yeah. Well, why, he's already had an assortment of ducks and chickens, not to mention a couple of swans. All feathers. Yeah, well, very expensive feathers. But I don't see how any pair of swans could cost $150. That was a gym. Well, if you'd run, as I told you to, we shouldn't have had to pay for them. Susan. When a man is wrestling a leopard in the middle of a pond, he's in no position to run. There it is, David. Please hurry up. Oh, Susan. 
Why, of all places, when you have a leopard in the car, did you have to stop in a town where there's a circus? But, David, I didn't stop because there's a circus, but Baby's going to be hungry and we'll have to feed him. Now, please hurry, David. If Baby wakes up, we'll be in real trouble. Yeah. Well, I don't suppose it makes any difference to you, but you're parked in front of a fire plug. Mm -hmm. I know it. Don't worry about that, David. I'm going to take care of everything. All right. Yes. Go ahead. Fifty? One dollar. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, what can I do for you? I want 30 pounds of sirloin steak, please. Did you say 30 pounds? Yes, that's right, 30 pounds. How will you have it cut? Oh, just in one piece. Are you going to roast it or broil it? Neither. It's going to be eaten raw. Yeah. Oh. Hey, uh, lady. Huh? That's a fire plug. <laughs> I know it. It's against the law to park alongside a fire plug. I know it. Come here. Who, me? Why? I'm Constable Slocum. Oh, is that so? How do you do? I'm Susan Vance. How do you do? Now, listen, I don't care who you are. I just want to let you know that you can't park alongside of a fire plug. Yes, well, you see, I was just watching the parade. Oh, you were. I suppose you get free seats to the circus. Well, Elmer and I usually get a... You now, know. listen, young lady, that has nothing to do with it. I'm just going to give you a ticket. Oh, well, thank you very much, Constable. I'd love to go to the circus, but you better keep your tickets because I'm busy tonight. Yeah, well, it ain't that kind of a ticket. Oh, Jesus. Young lady, it might interest you to know that you're under arrest. Oh, well, I mean, why? For parking alongside of a fire plug. Oh, but I'm not parked next to a fire plug. You ain't. Well, what do you call that? Oh, well, you mean that you think that this is my car. Well, ain't it? No, that's my car. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Well, you didn't ask me. Oh. Oh. Say. Do you grind this up before you eat it? Oh, oh, this isn't for me, it's for baby. All right. Uh -huh. Hurry up, baby, get but, in! But, but, Jump off! But that is your car! No, but it's my weapon! Oh. Hey, oh, oh. hey, wait a minute! Hey, wait a minute! Just for you! Yeah, come back here! What, what are you yelling about? They stole my car! Stole your car? Huh? Last night you tried to steal my wife's purse! What? Now, don't stand there. Do something. Get after him. Catch him. Well, Elmer. Bless me. Hey, bring back that car. Come back here. Oh, no, no, no. I'm glad we finally got here. I know, here. but isn't it wonderful? Oh, no, no, we can put him in that box. Oh, no, no, no. wait a minute. Don't open the door until you close. No, no, no. no, no. I think that day. is a good idea. We'll here. Oh, no, 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 Everything is not all right, Susan. It may be all right for you, but now I've got to get back to New York. Oh, David, what a one you are. No sooner do you get one thing settled than you start worrying about something. Well, my heavens, Susan, one of us should worry. Because on top of all this happened, we've stolen the car. Look. Oh, well, that's all right. I'll send it back. I don't like it anyway. Oh, oh, I suppose you'd like me to leave it with the constable on my way back to New York. No, that wouldn't be safe. You might be arrested. Besides, it's a hot car. <laughs> yes, I know. You're going to file the numbers off the engine. No, that <laughs> would be dishonest. I'll have the gardener oh. take it back after it starts. But wait, Stop wait, it, you're, Susan. You're, Stop you're, it. you're shedding. Now, where's the telephone? Out that door? Well, that's all I want to know. Thank you. No, but David, what I want to suggest. Now, Susan, I don't want any more suggestions from you. My fiance is waiting for me in New York. And in order to get married, I have to get to New York. Oh, Lord. David, I want you to be married. I think you should be married. I think every man should be married. But I don't think that any self-respecting girl will marry you. So the where you is go. the telephone? In there, but David, look at yourself. Well, what's You're the matter filthy. with me, Mike? Oh, my God, I am dirty. Hey, you see, now, what I want to suggest oh. is that you come into the... The only way you'll ever get me to follow another of your suggestions is to hold a bright object in front of my eyes and twirl it. Yes, I understand that. I simply wanted to suggest... I don't want any suggestions. All I want to do just now is to clean up. Where is there a shower, please? That's what I was going to suggest, the shower. Huh? Oh. Why send them into town? I can do them here. Now, don't argue with me, Hannah. 
Into town and have them clean the press. It'll take a lot longer, Oh, Susan. well, there's no hurry, Hannah. No hurry at all. Susan, it's just an old bone. Put it down gently and go away. All right, David. Is there anything else I can do for you? Oh, yes. Hand me my clothes, will you? Oh, David, they, are, they aren't here. They're being pressed. What? I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, the gardener's taking them into town. Oh, well, well, stop him. I can't wait. I must leave here immediately. Oh, David, you can't leave without your clothes. Well, I know that. Where are you going? I'm going to take a shower. Oh, Susan, Susan, don't leave me here like this. Don't be impatient, David. We'll talk it over after I've finished. Everything's going to be all right. <laughs> Everything's going to be all right. Oh, certainly. Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be... Oh, I'm losing my mind, that's all. <laughs> Roaming around Connecticut without any clothes, huh? I'll go crazy. How can all these things happen to just one person? Susan? 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 Susan, where are you? Huh? Susan, will you come out of there and help me find some clothes? Or must I come in and get you? Oh, David, you wouldn't. Oh, yes, I would. Oh, well, maybe I wouldn't. Susan, where's the gardener's room? Why? Because he must have some clothes. Where's his room? Oh, I can't hear you. You can hear what you want to hear. No, really, I can't. What'd you say? I just said... Uh, oh, never mind. I'll find the place myself. The gardener must have clothes. Clothes are clothes. Not in the town. Well, he couldn't have taken all his clothes with him. Oh, yes, he could. Oh, all the conceited, spoiled little scatterbrains. My goodness, the man who gets... The man who gets you is going to have a lifetime of misery. Everything's going to be all right. Yes, everything's going to be... What do you want? Well, who are you? Who are you? Well, who are you? What do you want? Well, who are you? I don't know. I'm not quite myself today. Well, you look perfectly idiotic in those clothes. These aren't my clothes. Well, where are your clothes? I've lost my clothes. Well, why are you wearing these clothes? Because I just went gay all of a sudden. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. But... Now, see here, young man. Stop this oh. nonsense. What are you doing? I'm sitting in the middle of 42nd Street waiting for a bus. Oh. Now, the oh, shoot! Oh, 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 my God. Come here. Who is this? I don't know. Oh, what's up, John? Well, what's he doing here? I don't know. Uh -oh. Susan? Susan, come back here. What's up, John? Susan, come back and tell me. Why, oh, yeah, I am not even know why it's you. Well, I've never been so thrilled in my life. Brought me. I don't doubt it, but why? You see, I had a letter from Mark from Brazil. He said that David was an old, old friend of his, that he'd been working very, very hard in town, and that he was on the point of having a nervous breakdown. Oh, yes, no, I'm a nut from Brazil. Uh, well, he's very excited. Well, he must be allowed to do whatever he wants to do. Where is clothes? Go well, Susan took them. What's he doing in that place? Oh, Mark says he should be allowed to wear a negligee if he wants to wear a negligee, because there's no telling Mark says what'll happen if he doesn't have his own way. Does he want to wear those clothes? No, I don't want to wear this thing. I just want to get married. Susan, I forbid it. I absolutely put my foot down. The idea. Oh, but now, Ollie, you don't need to tell me for a minute why you ain't been allowed in this whole situation. What are you doing? I want to say it. Perhaps you can help me find some clothes. Well, yes, yes. <laughs> Must be some of them hot things around. Some of them. And the... Are uh, there? Well, uh, well, uh, Oh, yes. There are some in Mr. Mark's room, sir. Yes, sir. Which is Mr. Mark's room? Well, it's the end, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh, my God. Go away. Go away. Oh, go away. He loves me. He loves me now. He loves me. He loves me now. He loves me. David! Where'd he go? 
Went to get some clothes. If he gets some clothes, he'll go away. He's the only man I've ever loved. David! Oh, what am I going to do? Oh, 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 get away from me. What do you want? Oh, Jesus. Oh, go on and laugh. I know it looks ridiculous, but I'm past caring. Oh, no, no, I don't mean to. What are you going to do? What I'd be trying to do, get back to New York. But, David, you can't go to New York dressed that way. You might be... They're all I could find and clothes are clothes, and I'm going. I'm going back to New York if only to repair the damage that's been done since I've known you. I go to the damage that I've done to Miss Swallow, to the museum, to Mr. Peabody and everybody else. Mr. Peabody? But, David, the one way for you to get to Mr. Peabody is through Aunt Elizabeth. Please listen to me for one second. Now, he'll do anything that she tells him to, or even like you. He's Aunt Elizabeth's lawyer. He's a lawyer, Mr. Peabody. What's your aunt's name? Elizabeth. Well, she has another name. Yes, of course she oh, does. Oh, never mind, never mind. Don't, don't tell me. Oh, well, why not? It's random. Mrs. Carlton, random. Yes, I know, I know. I, I knew that was kind of... Well, what's the matter? Oh, my goodness. Out of seven million people, why did I have to run into you yesterday? Well, what have I done? Susan, Mrs. Random is going to give away a million dollars. I know. I wanted it for the museum. Oh, David, well, I'm afraid that you made a rather unfavorable impression on Aunt Elizabeth. Yeah, I quite realize that. Susan, Susan, listen to me. What? Now, a lot of things have happened, but we'll forget all about them because this is serious. What, David? Well, can you concentrate for just a moment? Mm-hmm. There's only one thing to be done, and this is important to me and to my work. Oh. What? You're so good looking without your glasses. Susan, listen to me and try and remember. What? Well, you see, I've made a horrible mess of things, mm -hmm. and your aunt must never find out who I am. You do understand all that, don't you, Susan? Yes, David. You can tell her that I'm a friend of Mark's, that I have bats in the belfry, but don't ever tell her my name is David Huxley. Now, can you remember all that, Susan? Yes, David. You're sure? Yes, David. But you are good looking without your glasses. Oh, never mind, Susan. Susan. Never. What'd I say? Never. What'd I say? What'd I do? What did I say? What did I say? What did I do, David? Susan, I just asked you to remember what I you know, said. David, and I swear I'm going to remember it. Where I know exactly it? what you told me to say. It's locked Where in my Where is it? Where's what? My intercostal clavicle. Your what? My bone. It's rare, it's precious. What did you do with it? The bone. Susan, you had it. Give it to no, me. No, I haven't got it. I really haven't got it. What, did you carry it somewhere? No, David, what would I be doing carrying a bone around? Well, I, I wouldn't dare give a reason for anything you do. Well, I guess you'll have to find well, another one. Well, it took three expeditions in five years to find that one. Well, David, now that they know where to find them, couldn't you send them back to get another one? Oh. Susan, look. You had it. You took it out of the box. Now, where did you put it? I put it back in the box. Well, was there somebody else in the room? No, David, there was nobody else in the room, but... David, George. Who's George? The dog. You know? Do don't you see? Dog, bone, dog, bone. Oh! George! 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 Oh, stop it, Susan. You sound like an echo. George! Nice, George! George! Nice, George! Nice, George! George! Did you see him? See who? George. Are those the only clothes you could find? Susan, Susan, come back here. Come back here this minute. What are you doing? Honey, but George. Why? David wants him. David loves him. David thinks he's such a nice dog. George is a perfect little fiend and you know it. But David doesn't. Come here. Susan. Oh, oh, oh. David. Oh, Susan. George. He's definitely not in the house. That's settled. Uh. Don't do that, David. If he knows you want him, you're hard. Well, Susan, where is he apt to go? George is apt to go anywhere. Oh, I don't mean that. Where does he hide things? <laughs> oh, now, David, how can I tell you? Oh, you ought to know. <laughs> oh, there he is! George! George! Oh, my goodness, look at his nose. He's been digging. He's buried it. David, there are 26 acres in this garden. Well, that's awful. Now, George! <laughs> where did you hide that no, bone? No, no, David, not that way. Now, now, George, we're not angry. No, David and Susan need that bone. It's a nasty old bone. It's hundreds of years old. That's David's bone. Oh, look. 
Now, Susan will get you a nice flesh bone if you'll just show us where it is. Oh, look at the nasty little now cur. Now, learn everything, spell it. Now, George, don't be stubborn. Susan loves you. Now, where'd you put it? Don't you remember? Where'd you dig? He's not where'd being a bit of a yes, No, George, George! See, it's all very easy to know how to handle him. Everything's going to be all right, David. This must be the spot going to start digging in a minute, I can tell. There it goes. That's right, George. That's right. Nice, George. You see, it's all very simple if you keep your head. Well, I do hope isn't he doesn't he a nice hurt that bone. Dog? Isn't he a strong little man, David? Oh, he's got something. He's got something. <laughs> Come on, David. We're we'll helping. Dig. I'm digging. Oh, I feel something. I feel something. Oh, I hope it didn't hurt. Oh, look, David, a boot. A boot. Don't hit George, David. I wasn't going to hit George. Now, George, that was fine, but now you've got to concentrate again. David has to find his bone. No, not in there. Mr. Isn't this fun, David? Just like a game. Oh, yes. Now, George, if you get tired of digging, you just tell David and Susan where you hit it, and they'll dig. Yeah. Susan, huh? do you think George is really trying? Well, David, almost every place he's taken us, we found something. Well, there's nothing here. <laughs> oh, look, David, another boot. Oh, another boot. That makes three pairs. Now, come on, George. Quit stalling. Where is it? Oh, don't be discouraged, David. Now, George, concentrate. Bones, not boots. Oh, there you go. Oh, you see, he's got well, I'm getting in. tired of all this digging. Yes, what we need is a plow. Susan! Susan! Oh, oh Jesus, there we go. Aunt Elizabeth. Follow him, David. Don't let him get away. Susan! Yes, Arnie, I'm coming. Susan! What? What on earth are you doing? What are all these? Those? Oh, they're holes. Well, holes, of course. I can see they're holes. How'd they get here? Well, uh, David and George and I were digging. Who is this David? He's a friend of Mark's. Is that all you know about him? No, I know that I'm going to marry him. He doesn't know it, but I am. Now, see here, if you're planning to marry him on my money, you're very much mistaken. I don't want another lunatic in the family. I've got lunatics enough already. When are you going to marry him? What's his name? It's, um, Bone. Bones? What one ridiculous bone. name. Well, one bone or two bones. It's a ridiculous mm -hmm. name. What does he do? He hunts. Hunts? Hunts what? Well, animals, I should think. Big game hunting, huh? Yes, very big. You call that big game hunting? Look at that. Well, Auntie, he's just playing with George. Well, he's not going to play with George another minute. Tell him dinner's top of stage sharp, not to keep his weight. George, come here this minute. George! Come along, George. Oh. Oh, David! Yes, Alice, that's where I am, in Connecticut, but I can't get in because I've been unavoidably detained. David, listen. David, listen to me. Susan! Susan, I can't hear you. I'm talking. Go away. I'll be with you as soon as I'm finished. Susan, listen to me. David, listen to me. Susan, I can't hear you. I'm talking. Go away. I'll be with you as soon as I'm finished. Yes, I know that... Susan, will you please get off the phone? No, but David, you don't realize how important this is. It's about the leopard. He's making the most terrific rumpus out there. He's hungry and we've got to feed him. Well, I can't help that. Uh, uh, what, Alice, dear? No, it's somebody on the line. Keep quiet, Susan. David, you've got to help, but this can't wait. There are eight million people in this house, and if they hear him, why, they'll think that something terrible has happened. Oh, now, Susan, get off the line, please. Hello, Alice. Hello. What? Oh, well, I don't know what time it is. When you hear the tone, the time will be 7.37 and one quarter. Oh, Susan, please, please. Alice, you see, I can't hear you. I... When you hear the tone, the time will be 7.40. When you hear the tone, the time will be 7.40 and one half. When you hear the tone, the time will be 7.41. Uh, pardon me, the time is 8.10. When you hear the tone, the time will be no, the, the time. Uh, my watch shows 8.10 and a quarter. I, uh, who are you? Who am I? Uh, I'm 8.10. Uh, 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 Major Horace Applegate. I, uh, I, uh, uh, What do you want? Uh, Mrs. Randall when invited you... me for dinner. Would you please find out if she still wants me? She's hung up. Yeah, she, uh, oh, well, well, so am I. <laughs> Why, Horace, what are you doing? Are you coming in or going out? <laughs> well, I... I... He's coming in to dinner. This is Major Applegate. How do you do? I'm Susan Bell. Oh, how do you do, Miss Susan? I, uh, hello, Elizabeth. You know, you're much too big to swing on gates. Yes, I found that out. I... <laughs> Susan, come back here. Where are you going? Oh, I'm just going out. I've had enough of this. You should be watching George, not playing around with telephone. 
Oh, excuse me. George is fast asleep in my room. Oh. Now, come here, young man. And don't be afraid. Come here. Oh, you look much better in those clothes, young man. Thank you. I want you to meet Mr. Bone. Well, how do you how do, do, you Mr. Do, Bone? Bone? Oh, you're Mr. Bone. This is Major Applegate. Yes, I'm Major Applegate. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure I am. Uh, that is, I was this morning. <laughs> there, uh, there must be some mistake. Oh, there isn't any mistake. I've known Major Applegate for 20 years, haven't I, Horace? Uh, well, uh, 22 to be exact, I think, Elizabeth. It was oh. long about... Uh, oh, excuse me. How do you do, Mr. Applegate? Well, how do you do again? Thank you. Yes, now Mr. Bone will go for a nice long walk. Well, I'd like, I'd like a chance to explain you to you. You don't need to explain uh, anything. Perfectly all right. all right. I understand. I understand all right. Yes, yes. 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 Goodbye, Major yes. Applegate. Uh, Mr. Bone, uh, Mr. B uh, <laughs> a strange young man, isn't he? Is he suffering from something? He's had a nervous breakdown. You had or has? Had. Oh. And it's left him sort of, uh, you know. Oh, my, my, my. What a pity. And so young, too. Yeah, huh? The trouble is, my niece Susan seems to be showing the same tendency. Is that so? Uh, you're all right, though. Well, I hope so. Yeah, of course. Here, have a drink. Have a serve. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Now, conversation at the dinner table may be a trifle difficult on account of this young man. So I want you to sort of draw him out. Uh, draw him out? I don't know what you mean. Yes. Uh, talk to him about something he understands. Big game hunting, for instance. You know, he's a big game hunter like yourself. You don't say, yes. well, then, Elizabeth, you've come to the right man. There, he's been. Now I'm sure he's going to keep quiet, Edgar. Well, come on, let's go into dinner. Well, what's the matter? Why are you just sitting there? Well, well, I'm just trying to figure out how I ever got mixed up in all this. Mr. Bone, isn't that amazing? Well, David, you told me not to tell Aunt Elizabeth what your oh. real name was. Look, look, I didn't tell you to think up a name like Bone. You know, that's hard to do to... to oh. Oh, oh, now, George. George. Oh. Stay there, George. Oh, no, come on, quickly. Get out of here. Oh. Hey, shut the door. Shut the door. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? Did you ever stop to think what would happen if Baby and George got together? Oh, they'd probably like each other. And if they didn't? If they didn't, why, Baby would eat George. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. And there it was, straight before me. Crouching, as tigers do before the kill, you know. But I was ready for him. I drew a bead, leveled away, and caught him right between the eyes. Oh, my, my, it certainly was a thrilling experience. <laughs> As I'm sure you'll all agree. Hmm? <laughs> or uh, do you, Mr. Bone? Hmm? Have you ever been... Oh, pardon me, I'm <clears throat> so sorry. Uh, have you ever been in Arabia, uh, Mr. Bone? I, uh, I said, have you ever been in Arabia, Mr. No. Oh, I suppose you've spent most of your time in Africa, hmm? No. Uh, uh, Tibet, perhaps? No. Uh, Malay Peninsula, uh, perchance, hmm? Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> well, at least that got a rise out of him. <laughs> well, you see, you shouldn't have mentioned the Malay Peninsula. He was horribly clawed there by a tiger. He doesn't like talking about it. I had a gun bearer once who was clawed by a tiger. He, the poor... I was just telling Major Applegate that you were horribly clawed by a tiger in the Malay Peninsula. I've never been there. You... You've never... Um... Oh, well, no matter, no matter. <laughs> uh, what type of gun do you use in hunting tigers, Mr. Bone? I, uh, I personally use a bolt-action Mauser with a very large bore. I Excuse find... me! <laughs> Susan. Imagine giving a dinner party with your husband stalking like Hamlet's ghost all through the meal. Well, give me patience. No, oh, this is too much. I can't stand it. Oh, uh, we were um, we were talking about the jungle while you were away, Mr. Bone. My soup is gone. It was cold. Digging fish. Going on an innocent dog. Did any one of us hear such nonsense? Nonsense. Enough to drive a man crazy. And then they say, keep away from the bottle. Don't drink. No, not, not even a weed up to steady a man's nerves. No. If one more thing happens, I'll quit. I'll quit. And where Allah wishes go, he goes, Mrs. Allah wishes go, he goes too. Just picture it, a vast, mysterious silence, vibrant with life. Strange cries in the night. The... Good gracious, what was that? Uh, that was a loon, Elizabeth. Loon, L-O-N, yes. 
I'm sure that once you got the jungle in your blood, I wouldn't be able to keep you out of it, you know. <laughs> Susan, did you hear that? I didn't hear a thing. You did? Oh, my. How is are you quite sure that was a loon? Oh, yes, indeed, Elizabeth. I've heard many a loon, and if there ever was a loon, that is a loon. Mm. <laughs> uh, isn't it, uh, Mr. Bone? No. Uh, mm, uh, well, what do you say it was? A leopard. Oh, oh don't be sure. ridiculous. Major Applegate would know a leopard's <laughs> cry if he heard it. Well, thank you, Elizabeth. I'm an authority on animal cries. Now you take the rogue elephant, for instance. Oh, excuse me, Major. You're right. It is a loon. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hmm. The leopard's cry is something once heard you can never forget. Oh, yes, I know. Uh, uh, oh, <clears throat> you know. Thank you. It, uh, of course, it varies at d different seasons. Uh, let me see. Now, what month is this? June. June. Uh, June? Well, it would go, it would go something like this. <clears throat> I just prepare for it, you know. <laughs> uh, now, let me see. Uh, there we have it. <clears throat> <laughs> It's still a loon. Uh, well, of course, I haven't practiced the leopard cry in a long time. I'm uh, slightly out of voice, yes, you know. Try again, try again. Yes, I shall, I shall. <clears throat> well, now, I didn't do that. It was probably an echo. Uh, yes, well, it was a long time coming back, wasn't it? I, mm, well, try again. Try yes, again. yes, I, I shall. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> now, that's peculiar. There aren't any leopards in Connecticut, are there? Yes. No, of course not. Yeah, why do you say yes, Mr. Bob? Well, you well, see, uh, upon excuse, what me. You be excuse me. Excuse me. Sheldon, Sheldon. Get right down and finish your dinner and stop this night. I'll sit down. You'll be sorry, but I'll sit down. Boy, I can't, I can't stand it. I, I've got to get away from it. I've got to get away from it. Instead of sitting decently at the table eating the dinners, the howling and roaring at one another like a lot of banshees. And then they say, go but you mustn't drink. Go but you must keep away from the bottle. The bottle. <laughs> As if a man didn't need something to listen to that. I'm mine with any rights. I'm perfectly within you. Right. If one more thing happens to upset me, I'll, I'll be seeing things, I'll be seeing... Now, Gogarty, what is all this? I saw it. I saw it outside. So what? A cat, as big as a cow, with eyes like balls of fire. Hannah, clean up this mess. Please. And serve the next call. Here, oh, Chief, David, you realize oh, what please. happened? Babies escaped. Well, I don't care. Come on, we've got to catch you. I've got to watch George. You're not going to stay here. If you stay yes, here, I'm, I'm going to tell Aunt Elizabeth your name is Dr. No, David no, Huxley. Oh, you wouldn't do that. Right to... now. Oh, oh, Susan, don't do that. All right, I'll do anything you say. I'll oh, go with you. George, stay there. Oh, Major, have a great man. Keep an eye on George. Thank you. Baby, baby, oh, the door's open. No, nope, oh. he's gone, all right. Oh, dear, now Aunt Elizabeth is out. But don't lose your head, Susan. Don't, don't lose, lose your my head. what? Don't lose your head. I've got my head. I've lost my leopard. Yes. Oh, dear, oh, dear. No, 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 me. wait a minute. Nothing's going to be gonna... gained. Nothing's going to be gained by uncontrolled hysteria. Now, compose yourself. Well, what shall we do? Now, look, I'll call the zoo, tell them we saw a leopard, and they'll come and catch him. Oh, now, come on. It, uh, it is well, Susan, I do hope this time you've come to stay. Oh. Yes, I've come to stay, Ollie. Mm -hmm. We've just been walking, walking up and walking down. And... Where's that young man going now? He's just going in to take a rest. He, mm -hmm. he has to take frequent rests. The doctor says, well, have you ever had jungle fever, Major? Uh, uh, well, I... Oh, you uh, have. Uh, well, then, of course, you realise how important rest is. Uh, well, uh, well, of now, course. Now, for Mr. King. Bone, in his case, it's rather difficult because he has two doctors. Oh. One says rest, one says exercise. Which do you prefer? Well, I think that perhaps... Well, neither can he make up right. his mind. Right, Susan, listen mm -hmm. to this. What? This is a cable from Mark. Mark? Not a particle of sense in it, what you know. What does it say? What does it say? Are you pleased with baby? Love. Baby? Mark. Mark? Yes, not a word about my leopard. 
Le Your leopard? No, I've always wanted a yeah, leopard. Oh, excuse me. You know, he promised it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Don't call the zoo. Oh, I just... Don't call the zoo. Well, I, I just called them. It's all fixed. Call them back and unfix it. Well, why? Don't ask questions. Call them back. But I just told them they could have the leopard if they found it. You've given away, baby. Yeah. You had no right to do that. He doesn't belong to you. Oh, it's all your fault. You've ruined it. Oh, 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 I've had enough. I quit. You can't quit. Yeah. Call them back. But you told me to call them in the first place. Everything's changed. I just found out that that leopard belongs to Aunt Elizabeth. Aunt Elizabeth, you said Never it was mind, yours. I'll explain later. Just call them back and tell them that you were mistaken. But, Susan, I've only just managed to convince them that I did see a leopard. They'll never believe me Oh, now. well, I'll fix that, David. I'll tell them that you're a drug addict, that you're always seeing things. What's oh, isn't that not... Oh, oh, never mind. Give me that. Oh, I'll do nothing of us. Hello. Hello, operator. Hello. Uh, get me Westlake, 284. I don't know what I'm going to tell them. Oh, never I... mind, David, what you're going to tell them. Hello. Hello. Is that Zoo? Well, nobody's talking, baby talk. Well, I'm the man that called up about the leopard. You don't have to do anything about it. It's all been a mistake. Yes. Well, stop them for... What's the matter? Oh, my... What did he say? Oh, it's, it's too late. It was the night watchman. He said everybody's gone. They're all out leopard hunting. Oh, jeepers. You've gotten uh, us into a wonderful mess. Well, I got well, you. Well, let's oh, see no. before we act. You, you think. You can think faster than I can. Thank you, David. Now, what do you take with you when you go to catch a leopard? A bigger leopard. Well, one thing's certain. We've got to catch him before they do. Oh, I've got to watch George. I can't... You take George with us. Oh, my God. Arnie, Mr. Bond and I are going to take George for a walk. Where's the leash? Please. Oh, my goodness. What's the matter? Well, where's George? Where's George? Now, why this morbid interest in George? Well, I've got to find him. What for? Oh, because he knows where my intercostal clavicle is. Your what? My, David, oh. don't talk to anybody. Major Appletree, you promised to watch George. Uh, well, I did do that. But you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Well, where is he? Uh, he's gone. Gone where? Yeah, out that door. Yeah. Why didn't you oh, take him to the prison? Well, uh, no, 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 not that door. That door. Oh, oh. oh thank you. Yes, that's right. <laughs> that door. Uh, hmm. Oh, I can't stand this another moment. Harris, come along. Let's get some fresh air. Yes, shall we run? Yes. yes. Oh. I can't understand, Elizabeth, why a loon would answer a leopard's cry. Uh, there's something wrong, you well, know. They both sound exactly alike to me. Yeah, oh, no, oh, oh, pardon me, Elizabeth, please. I, uh, the leopard's cry is entirely different, you know. As I explained to you in there, the leopard's cry goes like this. What a terrible noise. I don't see how you do it. It's done largely with the palate, you see. Oh. Of course, the hands play an important part in the resonance and carrying power. But why uh, do you put your thumbs together like well, that? Well, you see, the thumbs, it is very necessary that the, the base of the thumbs are close together like that. Yeah. You see, that brings out a sort of a pear-shaped tone, you see? Mm -hmm. Now, having done this, you take a deep breath, keep the throat well open, and out comes... <laughs> oh, my, why, that's fine, Elizabeth. For one who hasn't had any practice, really it is. I think you've got something there. Got what? The mating cry. Now, don't be rude, Horace. Well, Elizabeth, I'm not rude. I was merely alluding to the scream that you did just now. I didn't scream. You didn't scream? I certainly did not. You didn't scream? No. I ought to know if I scream. Well, then there must be something wrong here. I, wrong? Well, I, I should say so. Well, I never in my life have known anything like it. Ever since I came into the house, there's been something wrong. It's been bedlam. Uh, Elizabeth, and don't you think it's time we went in the house? No, we've only just left the house. But don't you think it's a, a good idea to go back? No, I think it's a good idea to continue our walk. But don't you find it a bit chilly no, without well, a gun, Elizabeth? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I've plenty of, baby. George! Dream a while. Why don't you sing, David? Oh, I can't Dream sing. Dream a while. Yes, you can. You have a fine, strong voice. Yeah, but not for singing. It's not fair. You're just being stubborn. <coughs> That's a dog. <coughs> George. Oh, George. George. What's the matter? Something moved in that bush. Oh, oh. Let me go first. David. Shh. David, don't you think it'd be better if I went first? Oh, no, Susan. You might get hurt. Thank you, David. I can't see a thing. Neither can I. Susan, are you sure you saw something move in here? Because I can't... Well, Su Susan, where are you? Here I am. Susan, this is no time to be playing squat tag. I'm not playing. I'm so... Oh. 
I'm caught on something, David. Help me, will you? No. Help me, will you? No, no, that's poison ivy. I bet you wouldn't treat Miss Swallow this way. Hmm. I'll bet Miss Swallow knows poison ivy when she sees it. Yes, I bet poison ivy runs when it sees her. I didn't come out here to discuss Miss Swallow. I came out to look for George, and I'm going to find him if I can ever get to... Oh! Oh! David, are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't laugh. Can't help it. Oh, you look so silly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 knows how long that's going to last. Oh, in another minute, my intercostal clavicle will be gone forever. Here, George, here, George. Come in. Oh, oh, Is there any way to cross this stream? Oh, surely it's shallow. We can wade across. Oh, so good. Oh, get... Oh. <coughs> the riverbed's changed. Oh, the riverbed's changed. <coughs> bathhouse why this wouldn't have been so complicated hmm. next time i'll try and arrange one or perhaps there are portable bathhouses for people like you there must be must be oh david don't be so grouchy we could have such fun this moonlight and everything is so lovely and i do so like being with you you do well i like peace and quiet but it's peaceful and quiet here oh well let's just stay here and let george and baby look for us <laughs> hmm. Oh, David, your sock's on fire. Oh, that's all right. I don't care anymore. Well. <laughs> that's fine. Throw the other one in. <laughs> oh, that's true. You could have... Oh, well, don't be upset, David. Oh, well, who wouldn't be? My goodness, Susan, here I am trying to help you find a leopard so that your Aunt Elizabeth won't be angry at you. And then she'll probably give you the million dollars that I need for my museum. Well, if you'd planned it, you couldn't have ruined my chances more completely. You told your aunt I was crazy, didn't you? Mm-hmm. You told her my name was Bone, and you didn't tell me. You told her I was a big game hunter, and you didn't tell me. You tell anybody anything that comes into your head, and you don't tell me. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. here's something else I didn't tell you either. What, what Poopy. Mr. Peabody is coming to see Aunt Elizabeth tonight. Oh, did he? Oh, well, that's the end. That's the end, that's all. Peabody's sure to tell your aunt who I am. Yeah. He'll never remember those four years' hard work I put in on that brontosaurus. No, no. All he'll remember is that I conked him on the head with a rock last night, he thinks. Here. Oh. Where's that music coming from, David? Westlake. There's a circus there, a circus. Charming piece of our country tonight, boys. Nima and Nima. They've just escaped from the palace of a sheep. Joe, we got a job for you. The boss wants you to take his leopard over to Bridgeport. What happened? He just gave that new trainer a going over. Hurt him bad? Bad? You don't think three minutes alone with that cat did him any good, do you? Yeah, they should have shot him last summer when he ripped up Caldoni. Well, what do we do with him? Yeah, deliver him to this address. They've got a gas chamber. I phoned over. You go along too, Mac. Who, me? You heard what I said. Where is Bridgeport? How should I know? Somewhere out on the state highway. Ask somebody and get going. Well, that's that. 
Come on, Susan, let's get going. Hi. You sure you don't want my coat? No, David, I'm completely dry already. Oh, let's go. Hey, I wonder what that is. Hey, Max, see what that sign says. David, it's the zoo truck. Is it? They've got baby. Oh. Oh, is George with him? No, I can't see George, but we've got to get Baby away from them. Oh, no. All I promised to do was help you find Baby. Well, you found him. Now, listen. This. All you have to do is to go and talk to those men in the front of the truck while I let Baby out the back. Give me that what? rope. You take this. Well, I know, but what'll I say to them? Well, well, they're from the zoo. Tell them you're a zoologist. Talk about zoos. Well, uh, go ahead. Go uh, ahead. Go on. I can't find Bridgeport. You got the map upside down. Good evening, gentlemen. Hello. Uh, may I help you? Yeah, do you know the way to Bridgeport? Oh, uh, I'm not going to Bridgeport. No, not you. We're going to Bridgeport. Do you oh. know which way it is? Uh, yes. It's that way, ain't it? Yes. You see? But I, I thought it was that way. Uh, well, yes, it is. There, I told you. You just... Oh, well... Uh, now, come on. Come on. Get this around your neck. That's a good boy. Come on, put your head Hey, hey, what's the big idea? Get away from me. Put your head through here and I'll take you back. Oh. Come on, sweetie, come on. Oh. When New York is straight ahead. This guy ain't got all his buttons. Well, I... You see, I, Now, we have found distinct David, evidence... He's yes, escaped. Yes, well, I'll just explain to these gentlemen. No, we have found he's distinct escaped. Oh, he's escaped. escaped. Yeah. Shall we help you tie him up, lady? Oh, oh no, 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 not me. No, no, you're mistaken, no. gentlemen. Well, Frank, good night, gentlemen. Good night. No. Over there. Oh, we're on the right track now, David, I'm sure. You see him, David? No, I think it's further down this way. Well, I'll try over here anyway. Oh, Susan, I'm absolutely certain the sounds came from down this way. Oh, what's that? Somebody's shooting at him. You'll miss it again. Quiet! Stay driving there. Don't shoot! Please, please stand back, please, please, please. I won't miss him this time. No, but please. you don't understand. We're trying to catch that leopard. You're, you're, yeah, well, so am I. It's a tame leopard. Yeah, but I don't like to say, sir, at this moment, sir, but everybody knows you're crazy. Oh, oh please uh, don't uh, do Ms. that. Susan, Susan, please. Well, yes. Susan, why don't you explain to Major Applegate and then perhaps you'll catch your leopard. Listen, Major Applegate, you know that Aunt Elizabeth was expecting a leopard from Brazil, don't you? I had heard that, Well, yes. that's her leopard and it's tame. Yes. Impossible. There can be no such thing as a tame... A tame leopard? A tame leopard. We had it locked up and it escaped. Are you sure it's quite harmless? Absolutely. Well, my goodness, why didn't you say so in the first well, place? I I to... Well, I, I apologize to you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Boney. I oh, really thank do. You very much. Even though it is tame, I think we should try to catch it, don't you? Yes, I... but which way, now, did, which it way did it go? Uh, 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 that way. Oh. Well, we'll go in that direction. You go in that one. Come yes, on, David. Yes. Remember, don't shoot. Oh, no, 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 of course not. George! 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 George. I knew all the time you stayed. Oh, is that so? Yes, I patted him on the back. Mm -hmm. Stretched my hand right out, patted him on the back. Well, well, well. He's well. as gentle as a kitten. Gentle as a kitten. Well, of course, I don't know why you didn't mention all this. There he is. Mm -hmm. Well, this will all be quite simple. <laughs> Let me have that rope, will you? <laughs> uh, now, you hold the gun. We shan't need that any further. Now, Gogarty, you stand perfectly still and leave everything to me. I've had vast experience in these matters. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Come, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> Don't you fool me. <laughs> You're not afraid of me now, are you? Come, puss, puss, puss. <laughs> uh, 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 you say you patted this beast? Well, in a manner of speaking, I did. Uh, uh, personally, Gogarty, I think you're a liar. Is somewhere near the Canadian border by oh, now. Oh, no, David. We... Oh! Oh, so... Oh, oh, oh my glasses. Don't oh. move, Susan. My glasses. Oh, here they are, David. Here they are. Oh, David, they're broken. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> the things I've been doing today, I could do just as well with my eyes shut. Well. Well, anyway, David, you look much handsomer without them. Oh, stop it. Oh, look, David, I lost my heels. I lost my heels. Look at me walk. Ha, 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 ha.
Susan. Susan, stop. I was born on the now, side of a hill. Susan, stop. Susan, stop. Oh, now, look, Susan, we're not getting anywhere like this. Now, now, you must be very tired, and I suggest that you go home. Oh, but, David, we can't quit now. Yeah. Now, we've let a wild animal no. loose on an innocent countryside. We, we can't just go home and sleep. No. It wouldn't be right. Susan, you misunderstand me. I want you to go home. But, uh, You mean you want me to go home? Yes. You mean you don't want me to help you anymore? No. After all the fun we've had? Yes. And after all the things I've done for you? Well, that's what I mean. Well, all right, I know enough to go when I'm not wanted. And, and don't you worry about me. I can take care of myself. Uh, oh! oh, my goodness. Susan. Susan, are you all right? Yes, Did I'm you hurt all right. Yourself? No, I didn't hurt myself. It's not that. It's well, just that I'm miserable. <laughs> you don't like me anymore. Oh, yes, I do, Susan. You tried to get rid of me, and you just oh, think no. of me, and you don't no, like me no. anymore. But your face is dirty, Susan. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, now you're being nice to me, and after all the horrible things I've done to you, I... Oh, yes, Susan. Oh, stop crying, Susan, please. It's just that everything I do with the best intention seems to turn out badly. Yes, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, David, please let me come with you. Oh, David. Well, well all right, Susan, you can come with me. Are you sure you want me? Yes. Yes. Positive? Yes, you can come. Come on. Well, don't you worry, David. Because if there's anything that I can do to help you, just let me know and I'll do it. Well, don't do it until I let you know. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. oh. David, make him get down. I suppose you'd like me to climb up and push him down. Oh. Well, uh, well, maybe we'd better sing. Yeah. I can't give you any... Well, sing, David. Oh. I, I can't, can't give, give you anything but love, baby. That's the only thing I can do, baby. Dream a while, scheme a while. I can't give you anything but love. Not you, it. I can't... What are you doing, may I ask? Singing. You anything but love. If you are paying a bet, there must be somewhere else you can pay. Only. I'm not paying a bet. There's a leopard on your roof. Oh, I'm not going to bandy words with you at this time at night. No, while. There is a leopard on your roof, and it's my leopard, and I have to get it, and to get it, I have to sing. You're There's sure nothing on my roof. Come on, you fool. There's nothing on your roof. No. <laughs> All right, there's nothing on your roof. Happiness and I guess all those things you Poor always pine for. You'd better go down, for. Fritz. Gee, it's great to sing see if you like, you. dear. Thank you, swell. Baby, you can sing too. Diamond bracelets, Woolworths never sell. Baby. Oh, baby, don't. Oh, why did you have to do that? You frightened him away. Why? It's all right. It's not all right. You don't worry. Well, I have to worry. I lost my leopard. Oh, please help me find him. I certainly will. You just come with me. But you don't understand. He went that way. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, yes, he did. I oh, saw him. Oh, you're wrong. He's up there. What? See him? There, there. Where? There, peeking around the corner. See it? No, I d Hey. Hey! There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Oh, yes, there is. You now just you come along go. into the house. You and let me friend go. Him. You I don't want to go You what? don't seem to understand that there's a million dollars at stake. A million dollars? Yes. Well, you'll get it. We have it right in there. All in one dollar bills. Now, you just come along. Oh, no. Don't come. listen to me. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, this is awful. Like a 
peeping Tom. Peeping Tom, eh? Get your gun out and we'll nab him. Stick him up, my gun. Come on, grab him now, Mark. Grab him. George! Don't let me go. I have to get my dog. George, don't go away, George! Don't die, you. Don't die, you inside. What are you doing? I have a hairpin. Oh. Well, I did it once with a trunk. Anyway, David, when they find out who we are, why, they'll let us out. When they find out who you are, they'll pad the cell. <laughs> we picked up a girl who says she's your niece. Now, the question is, have you or have you not got a niece? Of course I have a niece, but she's not singing around under windows. She's decently in bed. I, I wouldn't be too I... sure, Elizabeth. Oh, Horace, do be quiet. I'll talk to you presently. Now, lady, do you definitely refuse to come down and identify this girl? If you continue to annoy me about this girl, who is no responsibility of mine, I'll have you arrested. The idea. Hello. She says her niece is in bed. Uh-huh. Just what I expected. That girl is lying. Doc, I think you're right. I think they're both lying. Now, what are you going to do about it? Well, uh, what would you do? Find out the truth. You're right. I'll go back and have a little talk with them. <clears throat> Come on, Elmer. Open her up. Now, uh, <clears throat> look here, you two. Get your ears up like a rabbit, because we've got something to tell you. If you ever want to get out of this jail, you better listen. I'm listening. Quiet, young lady. I'm going to get to you later. I want you to tell me the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Well, what did my aunt say? Be quiet, please. <clears throat> what did my aunt say? Your aunt? Why, she said... Now, young lady, you haven't got an aunt. But I certainly have got an aunt. Quiet, quiet, please. Now, look here, young fella. <clears throat> I want you to tell me just exactly what were you doing tonight. Well, yes, we sir, were hunting I, for a leopard. Uh, you were hunting for a leopard. Mm. A le now, 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 look here. Look here, young lady. Now, you know that's silly. There never was a leopard in the whole state of Connecticut. Well, there is now. Yeah. <clears throat> now, young lady, listen here. I'm going to stay here if it takes all year. I am waiting for you to tell the truth. Oh, if you're going to wait for her to tell the truth, you'll have a long gray beard down to here. You know, it's a funny thing. My grandfather had... Quiet! Young man, listen. I don't want any more slick remarks out of you. Well, this is a jail. I want you to have a little respect for the law. I'm just trying to explain, Mr. Constable. You see, it, it all started over at my aunt... Uh, at her aunt's house. Her aunt's house, yes, yes. yes. <clears throat> you see, her aunt promised to give me uh, a lot of... Hold on. Hold on there, bub. Just a minute. She hasn't got an aunt. Oh, I certainly uh... have. She's my father's sister. Now, look here, Constable. Come over here. Young Stop lady. wasting your time. Now, it's quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, look yeah, here. Yeah, you want us to get out of here, don't you? Oh, lady, yes, I certainly do. Well, now, I gave you my aunt's telephone number, didn't I? Yep. And you called her up, didn't you? I sure did. And what did she say? Well, uh, she said that you were home in bed. Then what am I doing here? Well, you're here because you're, you're, in, you're, you're your aunt, she could... Now, oh, confound it, lady, you know that you haven't got an aunt. But if I did have an aunt... She'd muzzle you. Now, look here, you can't talk to me that way. Oh, now, I how do you know we would be anything like but wandering around? I don't like to see young people in trouble. I, don't I have children of my own. Listen, I don't <laughs> care anything about your family. All I want to do is to get out of here. I haven't got time to waste getting around the jail in Connecticut. Conclusion. We'll arrive at a definite conclusion. Now, go away. Go away, please. Oh, shut up, David. Now, David, please be quiet. Now, let me tell you what happened. You left New York at 11 o'clock for some Mm -hmm. in a no, no, no. no. Yeah, well, I, see, you're not going to get anywhere with her. I could, you just come well, with me. That's better. If one of us talk at a time, now we're really getting no, somewhere. Be calm, Mr. Now then, speak, I... uh, speak up and speak fast. Yeah, but... Oh! Elmer! Elmer! Get the key here, quick. Lock him up. No, Lock him up. I, 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 yeah. I, I, I... Well, well, now, please, I... Fine, officer, you are locking up a dangerous just... criminal without locking him up. <clears throat> it's not locked. Yeah, huh? It's not locked. Oh, it's... thank you. <clears throat> okay, I'm sick, I'm sick, then. Okay, I'm so not doing no harm, I'm seeing you in the cup. And you won't have no right to do that. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I yeah, certainly yeah, afford this. Yeah. And the car... Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir, for you, Constable. Well, what's the charge? We caught him just as he was driving up in front of the meat market in Dr. Lehman's stolen car. Uh, I, oh, I... so you're a car thief, huh? No man is going to call on the wishes. Go with there, car thief. Come on. Hey, come on. Now, come on. Hold him. Have him. Have him. Lock him up. Lock him up. Hey, let go. Let go. Hey, you are, young fellow. Let's hold you for a while. Hello, Golgothy. Oh, Miss Susan, how did you get here? Influence. Don't worry, Golgothy. I'll get you out. Oh, sure, sure. Look, she got me out. Say, hold on here. Do you know this young lady? Of course I do. Don't I work for her aunt? You what? Don't I work for her aunt? Now, look here. <clears throat> if one more person mentions that she's got an aunt, I'll put you all on bread and water for 30 days. <clears throat> uh, what is it, Bivant? Who's in charge here? Right in there. Hey, Constable. What do you mean by locking up my niece? I won't stand for giving the keys. Madam, come along, madam, come along, come madam, along. You're hysterical. Say, uh, what is it you want? Uh, uh, she wants her niece. I certainly do. I want my niece well, right here. who is your niece? You give us a description of her and they find her. Uh, she's about Elizabeth, so tall. Elizabeth, I think. Elizabeth, is that you? There she 
she is. Hey, 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 hey. Hold on here. Hold on now. Just a minute. Lady, tell me. Who are you? I am Mrs. Carlton Random, and I want my niece. Oh, so you're Mrs. Carlton Random. I certainly am. And you say your niece is here? She certainly is. Ha! That's where I got you. The young lady we got here ain't got no aunt. And you're not Mrs. Carlton Random because I talked to Mrs. Carlton Random on the telephone not ten minutes ago. Uh, I ought to know who I am. Uh, yes, you should, Elizabeth, I think. You did talk to her ten minutes ago on the telephone. That's right. Yeah. How do you know? Yeah, I was there. Who are you? I'm the niece. Uh, uh, um, I'm the aunt. Um... I am Major Horace Applegate of the Explorers Say, Club. Uh, the what are you lady... doing with that gun? The gu um, I have been hunting leopards. Oh, uh, you've been hunting leopards? I said so. I've been hunting leopards, yes. Any luck? Uh, well, not what I'm accustomed to, no. I have been a bit confused regarding the, le <clears throat> the leopards here. Boys. I, I, uh, you have something on your mind, haven't you? <laughs> here, wait, wait, wait. Stop here, 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 here. Not so fast. Not so fast, lady. We just want to find out. This old battle axe we got here keeps yelling that she's Mrs. Random. Well, that's ridiculous. Mrs. Random is in bed. And don't you be calling up here again. Good night. Good night. Well, just as you said, Doc, they're all lying. Obviously. I have no doubt you will find you made a very important haul. Yeah, thanks to you, Doc. If you get their confessions, Constable, there'll be a lot of things you'll turn up. Yeah, well, I'll try it again. Come on, boys. Now you quiet. Now look here, I warn you. The first one that's a squeak out of me, I'm gonna put in solitary confinement. I'm gonna ask this young man a few questions and I want absolute quiet. Now, young man, you said your name is Bone. Do you stick to it? Well, if you're any good, we don't believe you. We know that's an alias. Now we know that ain't your right name. You're all impersonating somebody. What were you doing trying to break into Dr. Lehman's house? I was after a leopard. Leopard? Hey, uh, and... doctor, still stick to it. <coughs> all agreed on one story. Uh uh, how about that bank robbery in Old Town? Oh, what about it? How much did they get? Oh, they got a pretty penny. Must have got 5,600. Say, who's asking these questions? You or me? Who was with you last month in Rockdale in that mail truck job? Mickey the Mouse and Donald the Duck. Mickey the Mouse and Donald the Duck. <coughs> Doc, make a note of them names. <coughs> now, you're beginning to talk, we're getting someplace. Now, hey. you fellas, speak up. Quiet, hey, lady. Go, go. I'm waiting for you. Hey! Quiet, lady. Go, go, go. Speak up now. Hey, Flatfoot! Yeah. You ain't getting no place. Come here. Me? Yes, you. Come on. Haul it over. Haul it over. You want someone to talk, don't you? Uh, well, it's about time. I certainly do. Yeah, well, get me out of this cooler and I'll unbutton my puss and shoot the works. You'll up... Say, hold on, lady. I thought that you were... But... Hey, you ain't no lady. Yeah, I kind of had your fool for a minute, didn't I? Always you sure did. make a sucker out of a copper. What did I tell you my name was? Why, your name is... Uh, 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 Doc, what's your name? Susan Vance. Susan Vance. Bob, giddy, Bob. That's my society, Monica. But the marble calls me Swingin' Door Susie. Swingin' Door Susie? Now do you peg me? Come on, toots, open up. Open up. Hey, 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 stop, 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 stop that, stop that. I'm not opening any doors around here until you promise to talk. Listen, I'll talk. I'll talk so much it'll make your hair curl. You'll talk to you hear that, Doc? She's promised to talk. All right, I'll open her up. Susan, it won't work. Whatever it is, it won't work. Swingin' Door Susie hasn't stopped yet. I'm out this far, ain't I? Well, so long, gang. I'm not taking the rap for this job. It's every man for himself. Oh, now, here, here. Quiet, quiet. You know what I told you when I meant it. I you too. Ah, oh, quit beefing. Get right to yourself. The heat's on, Jerry. Jerry? Jerry? Ain't his name Bone? Well, bone? of course it isn't Bone. Ah, you mean to say you don't remember Jerry the Nipper? Jerry the Nipper? Make a note of that, Doc. Constable, she's making all this up out of motion pictures she's oh, seen. Oh, I suppose I saw you with that red-headed skirt in a motion picture. There you are, Doc, another woman. Sure, I wouldn't be squealing if he hadn't given me the runaround for that other twist. Oh, so he's a lady killer. Huh? A lady killer? Why, he's a regular darn swan. <laughs> Loves the ladies, don't you, honey? He bops them over. One, two, three, boom, just like that. He's a wolf. Oh, no, I'm a wolf. No, I'll send you back to birds, baby. Now, uh, Susie, I want you to tell the truth. You understand? You'll never get into trouble. I noticed you're limping there. Suppose you got shot in one of them stick-ups. No, I lost my heel. Well, don't bother about him. Just sit right down there. Come on, Doc, grab this chair. Here, Alma, grab a hold of that typewriter. I want to get this whole thing now in half a day with form. Now, look here, young lady. I want you to talk. I want you to Cigarette talk. Cigarette me, then I'll talk. I don't smoke cigarettes. Well, I guess this will have to do. Huh? Oh, it's a twofer. What's that? Two for a nickel. Give me a match. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, now, look here. I'm not going to stand for that in this no jail. No smoky, no talky. Put me back in the cell, wrap me up again. Uh, uh, uh. Ain't going to talk unless I have a cigarette. No, no, no. Hold here. J just sit down. Now, sit down. She won't talk without a seat. Here, Doc, give her one of them cigarettes. <laughs> now, then, if you just uh, tell the truth, why, we'll make it as easy as we can. Hey, my kiss, if you please. Oh, 
well, well, well. Now, there mm. I go again. Sorry, boys. Forced to have it. Forgot where I was for a minute. <coughs> Not. Hey. <coughs> How about uh, a little fresh air? It's kind of hot in here. Yes, it is a little bit muggy, isn't it? It's always that way around here at this time of year. <coughs> the humidity. Now, uh... What about the Cleghorn Jewels? Ah, that's hot ice, mister. We're waiting for it to cool off. We're waiting for it to cool... Where? What do you mean, we? The gang, the gang, all of us. You mean to say that you all belong to the same gang? Sure, the Leopard Gang, organized in Buffalo. The Leopard Gang. That's what I'm after, Doc. And we'll round them all up with one fell swoop. You got that down? I got it. Fine. How about you, Elmer? Not so fast, Ed. This is new to me. Say, hold on, you fool. You can't spell a leopard with a U. How do you spell it? W. W. What about that bank robbery? Boy, oh boy, oh boy! Wasn't that a honey? Wasn't that a pit? But your job has never been pulled in this neck of the woods. Jerry was the inside man on that job. Oh, he was, was he? <clears throat> Were you there too? Sure. What do you think? I'm a one-man woman. Where my man goes, I go. And if I don't need a baby face, Horace, he's the trigger man. The drunk. Wait a minute! Guy. You're talking too <laughs> fast. What's that? Baby face, Horace. Confound it, Doc! Look at there. You only got as far as the plague horn jewel. Now we got to stay on the road. Now, young lady, I say. Oh, there she goes. She's got my car again. Yeah, go on, boys, after her. Hurry up, get her. Get her. There she goes. Go get her, boys. Go get her. If you don't bring her back, there's going to be a shake-up in this department. Silver, go get her. My right, chief, I'll my hands in her. I'll lock her up so dead. Yes, ma'am. What do you want? I'm looking for... Me. Now, don't tell me that you're looking for a leopard to buy, Jingo. I'll lock you up. I'm looking for Mrs. Carlton Random. Uh -huh. Well, so is everybody else. Well, let me tell you, she's not here. I have reason to believe she is here. Say, who are you? I'm an attorney, Alexander Peabody. And I'm a swallow. I'm looking for a man by the name of Dr. Huxley. Dr. David Huxley. Is he here with Mrs. Random? Oh, now, lady, look here. The only folks we got here is an old woman who keeps saying that she's Mrs. Random. Then we got a gangster here by the name of Bone. Then we have Babyface Horace, and stop it. Then we have a... Stop, what is it you want? I can identify this gentleman. You may remember, Mr. Peabody, I testified for you during the breaking of the board whip. Yes, I remember. I demand to see my client at once. Slocum, you may have made a mistake. And if you have made a mistake, your position as constable in this county will be in serious jeopardy. Are you sure that he's the old lady's attorney? Positively. <clears throat> Election next week, too. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Peabody, you just step right inside here now, and we'll straighten this thing out. Because, well, as a matter of fact, we don't make mistakes. Well, here you are. Now, is she or ain't she Mrs. Random? Well, Alec, it's just about time you came. Of course she's Mrs. Uh, Random. This is absurd. Open that door at once. Well, all I right. You, what about him? Oh, oh no, but David, I don't understand you. Well, Alice, it's oh, just yes. one of those things. I can't explain it. It happened, and here I am. Yes, and in the last no, no. place in the world I expect to find yes, it. Well, oh, I don't like it any better oh, than you do. really, it. David. And let that young man out, too. Oh, shucks. Looks like I got the whole thing fuddled up. Well, I'm sorry. That's all I can say about you it. You haven't heard the end of this either, huh? Huxley! What did you mean by throwing rocks at me last night? Well, you, well, see, you mean I, to tell I, me that I, this is I, the young man you wanted me to donate a million dollars to for his museum? Yeah, sure. No, 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 no. I did, but I've changed my mind. Oh, I'm, David, I'm looking... what have you done? Uh, just name anything and I've done it. Hey, Joe, what are you going to tell him? Tell him the truth. We lost the leopard. Hey, hey, are you the constable around here? Well, I am until the next election anyway. What is it you want? Well, we need some help. Well, that's what I'm here for, to serve the public. What is it? Well, we're looking for... Well, we're looking nah, for... Nah, nah. don't tell me that you're looking for a leopard. How did you know that? Eh? Uh, huh? Know what? That we're looking for a leopard. Uh, now, look here. This has gone far enough. There are no leopards in the state of... <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad cat. Somebody get a gun. Oh, oh, He's no, a killer. Don't be alarmed, Alice. There's no need to be frightened, gentlemen. Everything's going to be all right. Hello, baby. Is this my leopard? There's a baby. Oh. He didn't do. He didn't act that way with me. Wait a minute. That ain't my leopard. Well, of course it isn't. That's why I took it out of the truck. You never let that one out of the truck. You couldn't touch our cat with a ten-foot pole. You. You mean to say there's another leopard? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Our cat came from the circus. He just clawed a man. He's bad. Oh, my goodness. Susan's out trying to catch the wrong leopard. Oh, poor darling Susan. She's in danger and she's helpless without me. Oh, what's the matter with you? You've been slapping at me the whole way. Now, come on, we've got to get in here, and you might as well come without being stuck. I'm going to drag you. Now, listen, 
I'm just as determined as you are, so you might just as well come with me because I'm going to drag you in here. I don't like Claire any more than you do, but this is where we've got to be. Hey, David! Well, did I fool you this time? You thought I was doing the wrong thing, but I've got him. No, you haven't, Susan. I can say, except that I'm glad that before our marriage you showed yourself up in your true colors. You're just a butterfly. Yeah. Oh, now I'm a butterfly. Very much, Susan. Put it down there on the table and go away. Mm -hmm. Hey, but wait a minute. I don't want to go away. I want to talk to you. Write me a letter. Don't. Oh, oh, go, 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 go back, Susan. Go. Oh, Jesus, it's high up here. Whew. Susan, now look. Please go back down the ladder quietly. Well, when I go down, I'll go down quietly, David. But I want to find out something first. Why did you run up that ladder when I came in here? Well, if you must know, I'm afraid of you. And... But, David, if you're afraid of me, well, then that's the same as admitting that you... Oh, oh! <laughs> well, don't worry, David. Everything's going to be all right. I'll oh, take it. Oh. Every time you say that, something happens. Now, now, please go down, because you've already cost the museum a million dollars. Oh, no, I haven't, David. I've got the million dollars. Aunt Elizabeth gave it to me, and I'm going to give it to you for the museum. Oh, well, I, I'm sure they'd be very pleased. Aren't you pleased, David? Yes, I suppose so, dear. It's too late, isn't it? I've made a mess of everything, haven't I? Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, I was so happy when I found the bone this morning. Oh, David, if I could only make you understand. You see, all that happened happened because I was trying to keep you near me and I just did anything that came into my head. I'm so sorry. But I ought to thank you. Thank me? Yes. For what? You see, well, I just discovered that was the best day I ever had in my whole life. David... You don't mean it. I never had a better time. Oh, but, but, but I was there. Well, that's what made it so good. Oh, did you really have a good time? Yes, I did. Oh, that's, but that's wonderful. Do you realize what that means? That means that you must like me a little oh, bit. Susan, it's more than that. Is it? Yes, I love you, I think. Oh, that's wonderful, yes. because I love you, too. <laughs> Stop rocking, Dave. Oh, I'm not rocking. I, I, I... Oh, oh, oh! Oh!
David. Oh, dear. Oh, my. 